Hey, Lou. You're thinking that something's gonna happen? He's right. Baby, what are we doing today? We're going to the beach. Say again? We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. What is up? We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna go to Freeport in uh, Texas near Houston. And uh, my boss was like, hey, you know, we just got done with a family trip in Freeport. It's awesome. And I told Alex, I said, we should get an RV. And it turned into this whole thing all week about getting an RV. And you were trying to make it she was pretty convinced. But then she realized she'd have to sell one of the cats and she couldn't let one of the four cats go. So anyway, we're going to go on a spontaneous trip to Freeport uh, to the beach. I don't know spontaneous planning in advances. Well, there was a point where it didn't seem like it was going to happen, but then I texted you yesterday and I said, what beach we going to? Yeah, I said, what beach we going to? So... Um, so we're gonna bring Lou Dog. Keep that tail wagging, buddy. Keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop that tail wagon. Keep it going, Lou. Keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop that tail wagon. And uh, we're gonna put Kiwi in charge. Hello darkness, my old friend. She doesn't know what to do. Yeah, she's like... Sweet baby Chelsea's on. On watch. Mm -hmm. she's, she's got a lookout going. But, uh... So we got the tent, we got the chairs. Um, you know, it's funny because I told my dad yesterday, I said, hey, you know, we're probably going to leave at 5.30. Uh, it's... It's coming close to nine, and we're running a little late. Um, so, and then we're gonna come back later in the day, and I'm gonna vlog our experience going to this place we haven't been to for a trip that we didn't plan very well. Um, so, you know, just just kind of doing the freaking thing. You got anything you want to say? I'm excited. I love the beach. There you go. Oh, and uh, for anybody watching out there, look at this newly licensed nurse. Watch this, watch this camera angle. Ready? And we gotta, not only are we going to the beach for whatever, but uh, we got a licensed nurse here, newly licensed, just in case somebody suffocates on the beach. Oh God, please don't let that happen. <laughs> but yes, I am a registered nurse. Uh. Alexander Fisk, RN, that's me. Yeah, she's a registered nurse and I'm a Hollywood camera director. Put us together and you got Will Smith, eight pounds. She gives the medical advice to Will Smith, and I tell Will Smith, yo, eight pounds, bro. Let's do it. You ever seen that movie, Will Eight Pounds? No, that's why I'm lost. <laughs> oh, you, you probably think Eight Pounds is an interesting movie. Eight Pounds is where, like, he accidentally kills somebody. Accidentally? I think it's like a car crash or something. Oh, okay. So he decides to donate his uh, organs. Oh, is that why they say eight pounds? Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, because I think I learned more or less that's what they were. Yeah, because I think our brain can be... Oh, but... Well... My brain's pretty dense, so I got a lot of... Really? A lot of pounds on really? there. Really? Because sometimes I question if that's... Oh. All right, Lou. Give us that non-stop tail wag. Give us that transition. Tail wag. Tail wag. 
Hey Luke, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Because there's a huge backlog in many states on employment offices. So, so and I just wish I could see how I look. So, <laughs> we are on our way to Freeport. Never been. I've been to the beach before, but not to this particular one. It's more towards Houston. I've been to Port Aransas. Last year we went to Corpus. That was super fun. And we think that was Lou's first time on the beach because he acted like he had never seen ocean water before. So that was fun. So we're gonna try to recreate those feelings once again today. Um, but yeah, so super excited. I'm actually pretty surprised like how close it is to us. Um, I just would have assumed that uh, it would at least be like four hours, but when we saw it was like three, we were like, we can make it happen. Hey. We can make a day trip. Because we, as a family, would um, go, if I'm not mistaken, too, I mean, I can look that up and fact check myself but i think when we lived in the valley and we would go to south padre island i think at least that would take us like three hours so and we would make a day trip so that's the plan for today currently driving through bass drop we're coming to bass drop oh yeah currently on our way to we're not even there yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Got the car loaded. Mm -hmm. Got some ice. Got some ice from the 7 Eleven. Best ice. Don't know if it's the cheapest ice. How, how much was it? Six bucks. Liar. Six bucks? You're not lying. You're lying. Uh -huh. Six bucks for two things. Oh. I thought you were saying it was six bucks for one bag. Because uh -huh. I thought I only saw I saw you with one bag. Okay. Well then, maybe not the best place to get ice. Because here I was thinking that Target had overpriced ice. Because we went last week and we and I spent like two bucks, two something, for a bag of ice. And I thought that was overpriced. Wow, this is two ninety eight for a bag of ice. Yeah, so I think that oh, I think that 7-Eleven is overpriced, but you know, you just gotta make it work, and that's what was closest to us. So yeah, we will film as the day pro progresses. That's right. Mm -hmm. ah! That's when we don't die. First time here, yeah. So we just we're uh, about an hour and a half away, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like a really small town. It reminds me of Alex's hometown. Yeah. And just like a main road of like these uh, one type. Wow, there's a Bucky's here. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh my god. Well, then this is like some. This is more than just a dog rail because we ain't got buggies there. So. Oh, there's awesome fun. So we're here and uh, we're, we left the buggies. And this is how crazy it is. So, like, you see how blue that is? It's looking so nice. And then we're, we're going into that. And bam. And bam. And we can't really check the internet because we have no service. So yeah, this this is what we're facing on uh, our way to the beach. So hopefully, clear skies are on the horizon. <laughs> mean, be, meanwhile, Alex is like, it's monsoon. Oh yeah, it's monsoon season. Yeah. 
But that's the thing, though, about being on the coast is like one instance, it can be sunny. Ooh, they got watermelon. Sweet um, watermelon. Sweet watermelon. Um, it can be just, you know, clear, blue, on a cloud in the sky. And then look at this. Oh! Look at this. Oh, yeah. ridiculousness. So, update. It's raining. It's definitely raining. Definitely raining. The look on that. <laughs> we're about we're an hour away, so yeah. m maybe it just passes over. Maybe things will pass through, but I mean, we all know the reliability of weather apps, but according to the one on Apple. It's just going to be gray and rainy all week in Freeport, which is the city that we're going to. So, not very optimistic about that. And it, it's crazy because when we were in Eagle Lake, at the bus there, the sky was clear and bam. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of stunned, and then I'm also kind of like, like I told Jacob, I was like, I'm kind of, I kind of want to smack myself because I didn't check the weather beforehand, and you, like I don't know, like I guess we just assume like it's Texas, it's the summer, it's it's the beach. Of course, it's gonna be hot, sunny, blue sky, it's gonna be perfect. But you know, this is a lesson. This makes me feel like I shouldn't just assume and but then again we wanted to have a little spontaneous trip and I think the spontaneity of it is like well you don't know, check the weather but then this happens so I don't know um if it stays like this the whole day my big fear is if they don't even let us get to the beach if they say no there's lightning you can't come out I feel like they don't, oh right, because it's a Texas State Park, so they have the ability to just close it down, right, to like not let people enter. Is there an entrance fee? I don't, know. I don't See, even know what the weather was going to be. <laughs> we don't even know. So, maybe take a lesson from us and do a little bit more research. Before you, go before you get in the car before and go on a three and a half hour near. car drive to the beach, yeah. maybe look at what the weather's going to be. Yeah. But, you know, we probably we probably would have chose Corpus Christi. We still well, would have gone. I had originally suggested that because a, a co-worker of mine was like, you should go to Padre Island, which is basically, from what I understand, it's like the area from like Corpus to Port Aransas. So we're more north. We're by Houston. Um, and I was curious and I was curious and I was like, well, the weather looks better in Corpus because it's more south. So I was like, well, what if we go to Corpus? From here in Corpus, it's basically another, it's another three hours. There's that. <laughs> so and we just saw a flash of light. So, I don't know. It's looking pretty grim out there, guys. So, weather update. Stop raining. <laughs> it still looks a little dreary, though. But, it's looking better. Cause we thought maybe we were gonna get caught in a monsoon. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be really bad. Yeah, and at one point there was lightning and a little bit of thunder, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, this is just not, I was just like, today was just not the day to come to the beach. <sighs> so, yeah, so I think right now we're about 40 minutes away. So we're getting closer, and it's looking better outside, so 
promising sign. It's probably going to be like this, like not super hot or sunny, but you know, the, the upside of that is probably won't get as burned as we would have if it was... It won't be as busy. Yeah. Nobody's going to give us a hard time about Lou being off his leash. True. And actually, if I remember, well, when we went to the beach in Corpus, it was already starting to get dark gray, so it kind of was like, it was kind of like that. So, and, and Lou had a blast, so, yeah, like, if, if anything, like, I feel like I wanted this trip just as much as for us, but for him to, mm -hmm. to run on the beach, so, he'll still get that, hopefully, um, but yeah, so, we will, we'll definitely see what happens when we get there. Okay, so... We made it! We made it! I thought we were going to die, we were going to roll over. And here we and go. And here's Lou. Here's Lou. Here's Lou. Woo! 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 the beach and we made it. made it so we're in Freeport Texas and
first spot hasn't really changed too much. Kind of like right here. You know, we got Queen of the Ocean just gone in a couple times. that has like the, it's like those New Zealand houses from Lord of the Rings where the mm, grass like a dome. goes up mm -hmm. to the windows to conceal in the heat. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's for? I think so, yeah. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, so we named it the Bunker House. Because <laughs> so, it kind of looks like it. Like it looks pretty, it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> We're coming up on it. I know. I know it's right here. Maybe we pass. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I feel like we would have seen it. Or maybe we, like, thought of it after. But, um... Then we got some Bucky's coffee. But yeah, um, yeah, so we stopped... At one like mini Bucky's, which is like a quarter of the size of the typical ones, because um, Jacob was gonna get food, but they didn't have any food there, which wasn't a shocker. But I guess their thing is just gas and you know, beets, not little treats, little treats. Oh. Is it? No. No. But. Yeah, so we went to Bucky's, but they surprisingly have good coffee. So if you're into house blends, Bucky's is it. Yeah, it's a dollar a seven to fill up your own cup. Mm -hmm. So if you're in support of using reusable cups, not the disposable ones, you save for being environmentally conscious. That's right. But yeah, beach trip was super fun. I'm so glad we got to go and that we made it. And it was pretty cool. Like, we could just drive up on the beach. We didn't need a beach pass, a beach permit, a parking permit. We didn't need to pay an admission fee. No, no, no. So. You just cross the bridge and it's there. Mm hmm. It was like right there. So. Is it coming up here? It's coming up. Oh, I know it's coming up. Oh, it's we're in guy. Did you oh. get guy? Did you get the guy sign? No, I didn't. We're in guy, Texas. We're in guy. So oh. you can be like. Is it in guy? I thought it was after guy. So you can be like, hey guy. You living guy? <laughs> How you living, guy? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> we're, we're just 
looking for this 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 wizard house because <laughs> we saw I I was what's crazy about it is like that it's the last thing you'd think you'd see out yeah, there. Yeah, it doesn't really fit in with the style or architecture of the of their houses. So that's why it stood out to me and I pointed it out to Jacob and he was like, Whoa. Cool. It is cool. But it was super cool. I'll add a photo of what it looks like. But yeah, it was a great trip. Uh, it makes, it, like when you live at home, you're kind of like, ah, you know, I'll just do this. And then you kind of forget that the, the beach or a park is not too far away. Yeah. You just got to get in the car. Really? And I was telling Jacob about this place that's called Enchanted Rock. It's only an hour and a half from us. And I, this whole time I thought it was... I thought it was four hours away. That's why I Yeah, away. so we easily could make that trip. Can I take a left here? No, no, no. In point seven miles. Um, but yeah, we easily could make that trip. I know Lou would love it because he's Mr. Mountain Dog. So. Yeah, it's north of Fredericksburg. Yeah, so I had a great time. I got some sun. Hopefully not too much sun. <laughs> uh, the water was super nice. And I was just impressed with how the day pretty, pretty much it turned up from how it was looking. 360 East Main Street. I got it. on our way home. We'll be there in about two hours, 15 minutes. So, you know, just a little day trip to the beach. I found a good uh, We're stopping at the watermelon stand. Oh, so I just um, told him I'm looking for a good, juicy, sweet one that's not mealy. Hey, so we made it back uh, actually a few hours ago, but um, our neighbors who had our key, they, wanted the chat. they wanted the chat. So we just talked. So we, want, so we just talked and... Some pour over coffee that was delicious. Thank you, Steven. And we just had a good talk. So it was fun. Good talk. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so we're going to end this video, but uh, I want to show the watermelon that we had bought off the side of the road. <laughs> Where was it in? Was it in, um, what was that place called? It was right before Eagle Lake. It was that one that their like, catchphrase is like, it's a uh, good place to live, right? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, was, it, it, was, it, 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 it was. It was. It, it was. Right. I forget, but it was a little city. It was before Eagle Lake from Freeport to Austin, Texas. Um, but here it is. Here's the Jesus. big Bertha of watermelons. It's organic. It has seeds. It's a red watermelon. Usually you can um, see how big something is by the, I guess a banana. If, if, if you Banana want to. is like the, the... Oh man! The, oh no! Look! Jesus, look how big that one oh, is. Oh heck, this banana is already... This, it's, 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 it's gone. And these are not far. Yeah. About like, that watermelon like for that ten bucks. Yeah, I was like, cut out that banana part. I ain't cutting out banana part. That is embarrassing. Okay, so that was the end of the video. If you watched it, thank you. Uh, 
if I watch it 10 years from now. Oh, no, no. I was going to say that this cost us $10, but it's organic, it's local, it's fresh. Um, but just, I can't even put this on the scale, I don't think. Because, of, oh, well, because maybe there's we no batteries can. In there. Oh, damn. You can true. put it on the scale, but you're not going to. Let's see. It's not going to. Oh, it, oh, it's a little better. Okay. Let's see. Sometimes it, it'll work. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's it clocking in at? Oh, 27.4 pounds. 27 point. Move back. I think there's not enough light to show it. 27.4. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, oh we lost it. Okay. Well, I, it's a 27.4. So this behemoth. Thank God. You know, you can, you can lift weights with this. Oh, Mama Mia. So this. <laughs> What if this was more, we had more video of this than at the beach, <laughs> like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, lifting some Pilates weights. with a watermelon. With my organic watermelon. But yes, it's organic, it's local. Um, the, the vendor was super nice. I was just like, hey, I only have 10 bucks. What can this get me? I need something sweet. I need something juicy and I need it to not be mealy and he was like I got you girl and so he was looking and he was like this one and he's like actually I think this is gonna cost more than ten dollars but for you it's ten dollars so he hooked it up hooked it up and we will truly see what's what, what he picked out when I open it which probably is gonna be tomorrow morning because I'm excited to eat this so yeah, so that was our experience. So, so far, 10 out of the 10 would recommend. Now I haven't even tried it yet. So, <laughs> so yeah. All right, so the, for me that's watching this video 10 years from now, you did good, Jake. Keep it up. <laughs> Never stop believing in the dream. Never stop stopping. Never stop stopping. And eat organic watermelon. Eat organic watermelon. Mm-hmm.